Then will you get the hell out of my dreams? <laughs> oh, man. What are you talking about? I'm going to tell this story, and then I know you're trying to get me off. They, they, you want to go home and everything. I'm, I'm, we're in L.A., and I'm hurt. So I can't play against the Celtics. You know I'm killing myself. So, you know, Larry warming up. So the anthem is sung, and get introduced, and right before they go out on the court, Larry comes down, he said, you know what? Don't worry, I'm gonna put a show on for you. <laughs> <laughs> and he went out, I think he scored 38 points, about 20 rebounds, about 15 assists. And every shot he would shoot, he would turn to me. And I said, boy, and you would sit there. You know, the thing about it that I love about you is that, um, see, most guys talk trash and talk stuff and can't bag it up. But Mr. Bird, you know you can bag your trash talking up. And the last two things before I go, because this is your night, and I'm trying to just tell everybody how I feel about you, because I respect you and admire you and love you so much. But the last two things, you know, today, I knew, I, I knew you were great, but today I found out how great you really are. I'm watching ESPN, and they got these greatest shots. You see this SB award, you call in, and you pick the greatest shots. So I'm sitting here watching it's uh, clock beaters. So I'm sitting here watching all the candidates, right? And you know, every candidate on there only like made one marvelous shot in their career, only one. They should have just had you and showed you on video because you had Hundreds of last second shot beaters. I mean, what are they thinking about? If they were smart, they just put, okay, Larry Bird is our winner. There's no other contestants. And last but not least, I'm gonna say this because you told me one lie. You only told me one lie in your career. That's pretty good. Only one. <laughs> and you only lied to the fans and all the people in the world one time. And you know what that lie was? You don't remember, do you? Larry Bird said that there would be another Larry Bird one day. And Larry, there will never, ever, ever be another Larry Bird. And so I don't care how many people, how many players, there will never, ever be another Larry Bird. So you take that to the bank. I love you, I respect you, and I admire you. And I'm gonna get off of here before I start crying because you know I will get emotional up here. Um, of course, you gave me a piece of the parquet, and so you know what the Lakers did. Sent you a piece of the form floor. And, uh, but Kareem and Jerry West and Elgin, all the, all the guys you don't want to hear about, basically, they all signed it, and uh, this is from the Laker family, Dr. Buss, and uh, to say congratulations and thank you. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is the only time they ever clap for me. <laughs> Man, I, I feel wonderful not getting booed or anything. 
especially when I used to complain about a call. That's all right, you just reminded me. Please boo me because this, I'm reminiscing of all the old time when I used to come in here. This used to be great. Um, Larry got a, a jersey here. Well, first of all, the Lakers sent one jersey over with uh, your name on the back, Bird. See, I did. Yeah. So, that's all right, boo him again. Oh, you know I'm having fun with this, so go ahead. Um, and last but not least, this is mine, and I signed it to you, to uh, the greatest basketball player ever, but more important, a friend forever. And I appreciate that. Thank you, Andy. You noticed I signed yours on the back. <laughs> that's because that's how I ever seen of you. <laughs> says, to Urban, a great champion and competitor, you are the best. And thank you for all the great competition and all the great games. See, when we played the Lakers, it was the ultimate game. Of course, we played Philadelphia back in the early days. And the only reason I say that's the best rivalry is because we never got to play the Lakers more than two or nine times a year. It would have been nice. <laughs> nine was better than two. <laughs> but it would have been a great rivalry, just like back in the older days when we used to play you all the time. And you were the first Celt uh, Celtic Laker team to win on the Boston Garden a Championship. I don't commend you for that. I'm still <laughs> peed about that. <laughs> but there's no question about it, Magic. We had a great time, and it's all over, buddy. Yeah, it is. It's all over, but you know what? We had that last dream, though. Oh, Rick, I got to get Rick for this. You and I remember this. Do you remember when <laughs> Rick Roby started in front of both of us? <laughs> you guys don't know this. Larry Bird and I sat on the bench. You remember that? <laughs> Do I remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe you? Who was the coach of that team? Joe B. Hall of Kentucky. Had all them <laughs> Kentucky guys starting. <laughs> But boy, did we put on a show when we came in the game, didn't we? <laughs> For them two or three minutes, uh, we sure oh, did. Oh, man. And I finally got my dream to play with you and the dream team. And, and ladies and gentlemen, they were talking about, well, Larry might not play and this and that. And I told the guys, I said, if Larry doesn't play, I won't play. And I'm glad that we finally got that dream. So I'm going to get off here because, see, we can go forever. <laughs> now, Magic, now, since you're kind of segging into, you're sort of segueing into a new career, working occasionally with NBC, right. and you seem so at home here, see what it says? Yes. Segway into Olympic video. Why don't you just do it? All right. <laughs> it was like we played in, together instead of against each other. And for the first time on the Olympic Dream Team, it seems only fitting that our career should be capped by a joint participation on the greatest te basketball team ever assembled, the 1992 USA men's basketball team. Let's relive the highlights of the swaggering flamboyant journey. Roll the tape. When America's dream team was assembled, there was no question as to who its captains would be. Who's taking the last shot with the game on the line? Let's we'll see what's going to happen is Larry and I. He's going to shoot it and miss the whole rim. I'm going to be standing there and lay it in like uh, Balbona's team did in 83. Yeah, that's right. We'll be... <laughs> the games didn't go exactly according to Larry's script, but the team's march to the goal didn't lack for theatrical grandeur. It would prove to be Larry's farewell to the game, and his curtain call couldn't have been more fitting. This group may well be the greatest team ever assembled in the history of team sports. Playing for his country, Larry showed the same indomitable pride as when he first entered Boston Garden over a decade ago and displayed a spirit that has never lost its youthful fire. <laughs>